Alrighty guys, still stuck at home, you know, doing that quarantine thing. So let's check out what's in my pack. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so let's start with some of our camping gear. First up, the pack. So this pack right here is an absolutely incredible pack. It's made by EXO Mountain Gear. This pack is an incredible pack. It's, it's mainly a hunting pack, I'll give it that. It's meant for hunters uh, that wanna pack in and out game. Right, so you've you've got you've downed your animal, you've harvested, and now you've either corded it up or something. And anyway, this pack, you can actually separate the pack itself from the frame. You can get all kinds of meat back in here and pack it out. It's even got straps to hold it down, which is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna take this whole thing apart for you, but uh, yeah, if you haven't watched EXO's uh, sort of gear demo or whatever that they do with this backpack that shows you how to strap meat on here, um, it's it's absolutely incredible. Check that out. But this is what I use for hunting and backpacking. I know the pack itself probably weighs more than most backpackers would want uh, to pack around because you're trying to get weight down, but I just love this pack and it helps me get used to it throughout the year to wear it on the backpacking trips that way come hunting season. Uh, you know, I'm just really comfortable wearing this pack. So this is the pack that I have. It's called the XO 3500. It's awesome. It's actually uh, a backpack that was recommended to me by Casey from the Hush channel and it's been awesome. So thanks Casey for the recommend. All right, next, sleeping bag. I, so far, have used this bag. This is the Ledge Featherlight Zero, and uh, it's been pretty good. It's a mummy bag, so I don't sleep great in it, because, um, well, you've, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I don't sleep awesome in a mummy bag, unfortunately. Look like I got kicked by a horse or something. Lord. In the future, I do want to get this bag made by Nemo. Nemo's an absolutely great company. They have all kinds of stuff. I've got another piece of gear from Nemo that I'm going to show you here in a second. But they've got a mummy bag called the Men's Disco, I believe, which is kind of a funny name. But hey, it's a it's a 15 degree bag that's not technically a mummy, although it keeps you as warm as most mummies do. But it's shaped like a spoon. It's called their uh, spoon shape or something that they've come out with. Great bag. So that's what we're going to be getting here shortly. But they're currently out of stock uh, on the website so uh, i've got to wait for that one so the nemo but right now we are using this ledge feather light bag it's pretty sweet it's decent all right next sleep pad this right here i got from rei they don't actually make it anymore um, so you can't get it uh, i i think from the store or online i'm pretty sure it's it's either sold out or discontinued but it was called the camp bed uh, 2.5 and i've really liked this it takes some tying down you can see this to get it down to kind of a decent shape to strap it on the bottom of my backpack um, but once you inflate it, it is sort of a half inflate, half cushion. It's got cushion in it, so it's got a great R rating. This is a fantastic sleep pad. Uh, once you get it blown up, you can actually kind of uh, deflate a little bit to where your comfort zone is, and, and I'm telling you, you don't even know that you're on the ground. This is a phenomenal sleep pad. And next, this right here is the War Bonnet Blackbird. The Warbonnet Blackbird hammock is a fantastic hammock. They've got tons of gear reviews on there for how you set this thing up and get it going, but this is what I am currently uh, going to be using this year. It's the Warbonnet. We went from the Eno. Check the Eno out in this video here. Did a gear review for that. We've loved the Eno. The Eno's been tons of fun, uh, but I just wanted to go to something a little bit bigger, and the, the Blackbird is a bit bigger than the Eno and uh, comes with some, some decent straps to set up stuff. So I wanna try Blackbird. So that's what we're doing right now from Warbonnet. Next, I do have some Eno gear. Eno. Yeah, we do have some Eno gear, and this is their Fly Tarp. Um, see that? Pro Fly Rain Tarp, right there by Eno. And this is going to go up and over the hammock to kind of keep us dry. So that is the tarp that we're gonna be using. Oh, and I said Nemo, here it is. Okay, remember Nemo? I'm gonna get that sleeping bag from Nemo. Nemo actually has uh, a pillow. And their backpacking pillow is a great, super comfortable pillow. I used it on this trip here. It's half inflatable, half cushion, like I said before. It doesn't have the real crunchy loudness that a lot of other pillows have. This is it totally inflated. It actually comes with its own little stuff pouch inside here. It's probably the only thing that makes a significant amount of noise. See this? Not too much. Uh, but right here, that stuffs it down right into this. It's pretty sweet. 
So this is the Nemo Camp Pillow. I believe they call it the Philo. Yep, right there. Look at that, the Philo. <laughs> Clever. And that's it. The top of it is all kind of a cloth. Really nice, you can't even hear that. Look at that, oh, beautiful. You blow it up, just like I blow up the air mattress or my little camp pad. It's a sweet little, sweet little pillow. Love it. All right, cook set. This is what I'm using to cook with. This is made by Techsport. Techsport. And let's see what comes in here. Alrighty, and here's what I got. Two sets. I got a skillet, or a little tiny, tiny pot, right? And a regular size pot. And that's what I use every backpacking trip. This is it. You can tell this one's got some. That's some wear to it. We've used this one quite a bit. This one, not so much, but it has done some fun stuff for us. Check out the cooking that we've done with this and some of our other videos. Again, these are by TechSport. And this fun little guy, we picked him up from Walmart. <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. I actually got one of these. I'd never really liked these until I started backpacking because they are very light and you could do tons of stuff with them, whether it's just boil water for coffee or for your... Uh, dried dehydrated meals uh, these are fantastic because they basically indestructible i love these little things and uh check out joe robinette he's got a great video of how to um, hook some wire around here and get yourself a cool little you know lifter whatever handle i don't know what you call that anyway that's my cook set here's the spoon spork fork knife thing that i use it is by morsel i've really liked these they've got a rubber sort of an end to them so they can flex uh, and sort of, you know, I don't know, yeah, flex to the side of the bowl that you're scraping out of. So if you're in here and you want, need to get those corners that are hard to get, right, the rubber in this actually helps flex right to the side of it. So it's really nice. I won these on a website called The Dirt. If you haven't checked out The Dirt yet, check out The Dirt. They're an awesome camping website to help you find campsites. So people can get on there, you could get on there and see all of the campsites that people have been to in your area. You can create campsites that you've gone to that you want to share with other people. You review campsites and tell people about your experience there. Uh, the Dirt is a fantastic website, check it out. So if you're not sure where to go camping, you're like, yeah, I'm new here, I don't know where to go. Uh, the Dirt is the answer to that. And they have contests every month. So if you review a campsite, you get to uh, submit your review. They give you points for those reviews. And then if you end up being the top point earner for your region, you actually get to pick uh, you know, a, a gift or something like a prize that they give out. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. I went with Morsel. All right, that's cook set. Next. We've got this lovely, awesome, beautiful, can you guess? It's a camp chair. Yeah, backpacking camp chairs. Uh, so this is a luxury item. A lot of people don't want to go camping with a camp chair because, well, they take up weight, but they are absolutely incredible uh, when you're there because believe me, after sitting on a log several times, uh, we're sitting right down on the ground and think, man, I could really use a chair right now. The camp chair, this specific camp chair, is fantastic. This is what it looks like out of the bag. Absolutely fantastic chair. Uh, holds up to 225 or 250 pounds, I think. It's pretty sweet. Gotta love it. Okay, moving on. Here's the hatchet that I take out. Anyway, use this for just basic wood processing while I'm out. Yeah, it does the job. Got it at Sportsman's Warehouse. It's nothing fancy or custom made like some of the bushcraft guys, but it does the job. It's relatively, you know, not super heavy. Uh, feels pretty good. Again, it's not the, a top of the line hatchet, but it works really good. I really like it. It's by, who's this? Fast Wing? I don't even know. It's Sportsman's Warehouse. Just pick up a hatchet. So I take that. Next, here's my knife. This knife came from Benchmade. Really liked it. Didn't care for the sheath too much, but the knife itself is awesome. And as you can see, we got our, look at that. Yeah, we're outdoors. Anyway, the knife is fantastic though, uh, by Benchmade. Um, we've quartered elk with this thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Love it. All right, back to processing wood. Here we go. This guy, the gone boy. The gone boy, awesome saw. The saw has got some mean teeth on it, and uh, it's like a, it's very lightweight, um, and and yet the blade is not so so flexible that you're gonna end up you know breaking it or bending it too bad. It's it's pretty sturdy, but it is very lightweight. Folds right up. This is a great saw, Gone Boy. Actually, this is another one of those Joe Robinette recommends. Uh, this is one of the saws that he had carried for a long time, and I really like this one. Alrighty, Fire Steel. This is from Uberleben. This is the fire steel. It's a pretty sweet little fire steel. 
Uh, we used it on our last trip. This one's brand new. Uh, hasn't had much wear and tear yet. So, fire steel. Derek, how do you charge all your stuff while you're out there? Oh my gosh. Look at this beauty right here. The wife got this for me about a year ago, and I've loved this thing. I don't even know who it's by, but it's a sweet solar charger. There's all kinds of solar chargers out there. This is a solar charger that I use to charge the uh, drone and the GoPro. It's got two USB ports, one, two. It's pretty sweet and it works really good. You can charge it either via solar or you can charge it at home, right? Plugging it in prior to going. So that is my solar charger. Again, I have no idea who made this. There's no brand on it anywhere. It just says solar charger made in China and it works like a boss. Love this thing. All right, water filtration. So I'm currently using Sawyer, right? Sawyer Squeeze. This is the little bag that it comes in so you can hang it upside down, right? This is the Sawyer Squeeze system. I'm actually switching out this bag for, uh, I believe it's Cnoc, is how you pronounce it, Canoc. I don't know. Um, I do not like this bag. The bag itself, the only way to fill it up is right here, that tiny little hole. And it's impossible to sit and scoop water and fill this thing up. And so we are going with the Cnoc, the, the Canoc, so you can totally open up the back end of the bag, right? and fill up from here instead of this little tiny thing. But all in all, the filter works great. So this is our, just a Sawyer um, filter that comes with it. I do have the Sawyer Mini uh, that I've used for like water bottles and stuff, but this is what I'm taking if I need to purify larger amounts of water. The Sawyer Squeeze. Alrighty, look at this. Last but not least, this is a buff. This thing is awesome. Dan Becker actually turned me on to buffs. I had never worn a buff ever. I'd always just either stuck with uh, just putting a beanie on and then maybe, I don't know, lifting my collar up or something, who knows. I've got a beard, so I don't know how much this is really necessary, but I did wear it on last year's deer hunt and it did make a huge difference. These things do keep you crazy warm. You can fold them into all kinds of, uh, you know, cool, uh, patterns of course i don't know how to do that because i've never done that but i've seen other people do it it's really neat and you can fold them and put them on top of your head right put your head in here but buffs definitely keep you warm keep your neck warm keep your head warm keep your face warm whatever you need if you're cold weather camping get yourself a buff trekking poles here are a set of trekking poles that i've had uh, for a little bit now they're made by tubs got them at sportsman's warehouse just some standard trekking poles. They're not the most expensive things in the world, but they've worked really, really well. Haven't had any issues with them. They came in a set with these guys. These are the snowshoes that I use also by Tubbs. So these are the Tubbs Explore 30s snowshoes. They were pretty good. You can check out our snow camp video. Uh, we were having a good time hiking up into the mountains with these and these worked awesome. And uh, again, I'm, I'm a big dude and had a big pack on and I was packing a sled and these guys did not let me down at all. In our snow, we had some really, some really weak spots where you were pushing right through and some other hard pack spots, but man, no matter where I was at, these worked awesome. So again, these are tubs. Uh, so I've, that's the snowshoes that I was using. This is one other item that I take with me when I'm hunting. This beautiful bugle right here by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. They partner with these guys right here. These are my elk diaphragms. They help you sound like an elk. Yeah, calling elk in. Good stuff. So I take this on my hunting trips as well, along with one of these. This is just a basic wind detector. You know, you can pop this open. See which direction the wind is coming from. Look at that. Whoa, cool. Also take lovely little binoculars. They are not expensive binoculars. I'm running Bushnells guys. These were like, I think 60 bucks or something at Walmart. I don't have a spotting scope or anything like that. I still gotta get some of that stuff. Um, but that's what I'm running for, for binoculars. I do have game bags. I'm using Caribou Gear game bags. I think I got these from Sportsman's Warehouse too. I might've got them from Cabela's, I don't remember. Uh, just a standard game bag for when you've harvested your meat, right? So those are the game bags that I'm using. And my hunting boots, I'm running Danners. I've tried a whole bunch of different kinds of boots. And I know there are boots out there that cost way more than some of the basic Danner boots. But I really, really, really liked the way that Danners felt on my foot. And that was all that mattered because you can have the name brand, whatever, but if they do not feel good on your foot, it does not matter. So I uh, went with Danner. Um, again, Danner is not top of the line stuff. They got some really decent stuff, but there's plenty of boots out there like Crispies, you know, that are way more pricey and 
possibly more comfortable, but I'm <laughs> trying to save some money. So I went with Danners and Danners were great. I absolutely love the way they feel. I've been running them for two years now and they feel awesome. Here's the drone. I'm running the Mavic Mini. Not the Mavic Mini 2 that just came out, but just the Mavic Mini. And this is it. This is the drone. I've absolutely loved it. It's been a great drone. We had, uh, we've done one trip with it so far is all. I've had tons of fun just flying around practicing with it, but that is the drone. It's given us some awesome shots uh, for camping and hope to use it a ton more. And last but not least, the GoPro. I'm just running the Hero 7. It's, uh, I think it's called the Silver or something like that, or the gray, I don't remember what it was called. It's not the black one, um, which was the really nice one. This was the cheapest one that was on the market at the time when I got GoPro. And uh, yeah, I've liked it. I don't like that I can't change the battery and I don't like that the battery dies so fast. So if um, you're gonna take one of these out, which I think they came out with the eight now or something. So it's basically irrelevant. But if you wanna take something like this out, make sure you have a solar charger to pair it with so that you can recharge this. Uh, but other than that, that's my only complaint about this GoPro. Uh, everything else works great on it but it does have a very short battery life and you can't swap it out for a pre-charged battery that you're packing with you. So that is it. I don't think there's anything else that I've got here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun making it for you. Uh, I've never reviewed kind of that much stuff sort of all in one. It's not really a review, I guess. I'll probably do some more individual stuff of each of those or maybe like, you know, see them in action or whatever. Should have another camping video coming out hopefully next week. As always, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time on Roll Outdoors.